From now on, I only make spaghetti if it's like this. In a large skillet over medium to low heat, start by adding a drizzle of olive oil. Then add half a red onion, roughly chopped, two cloves of garlic, three ripe tomatoes cut into smaller pieces, and saute for five minutes. After this time has passed, add a 240 milliliter cup of chicken broth. Stir until combined and let everything cook for another five minutes. Now transfer everything to a blender. Blend at maximum power until combined and set aside. Take this time to share this video and write in the comment section the name of the city from which you're watching it and we'll make sure to leave a heart especially for you. Oh, and thanks for sharing this video. Once you've done that, cut five chicken hot dog sausages. Cut each one into four equal parts. Then, get some spaghetti and break in half. Then, stick the spaghetti into the pieces of hot dog, just like I'm doing. Repeat this process with all the hot dog. In total, I used 150 grams of spaghetti. Now, in a large pan over medium heat, filled with a liter and a half of boiling water. Add all the hot dog pasta sticks we have prepared and let everything cook for 8 minutes. After this time has passed, remove from the heat and drain all the water. Then, in a large skillet over medium to low heat, add 1 tablespoon of unsalted butter and stir until melted. Add the hot dog pasta and saute for 2 minutes. Have you got that recipe app? It's already available for download. With this app, you'll have access to all our recipes in the palm of your hands and you'll get notified every time we upload a new recipe. In addition to all that, you'll also have access to an exclusive area in which you can bookmark your favorite recipes. Go to the App Store or Play Store now, type that recipe and download it. Then, add the sauce we prepared. Stir until combined and let everything cook for 5 minutes. I hope you're enjoying the recipe. Share it with your friends. By doing so, you'll be helping us go even further. Finally, add 100 grams of grated mozzarella cheese and parsley to taste. This is the right point. That recipe is ready. You may now serve and enjoy it.